Hello and welcome to this uh, short demo. What we're trying to do here is uh, show you how we can do uh, script-based automation of uh, adding devices to Nagios for monitoring and also adding services on top of that. Then we'll also show how you can remove services and delete uh, hosts finally. So what we're showing here is the Nagio screen in the front end. So this is how it is looking right now. We will do is basically try to start by adding a host using a script, right? So basically this is the script that we have written. We have four types of scripts. We'll try the first script, which is for adding a host. So add host, then uh, we'll give a name and the IP address of that server. Let's uh, enter. So this says that the service is successful. And let's look at what happens on the Nagios front end. So let me refresh it. So when I refresh, I see this new host being added. This is the API host we just added. This is what is showing on the uh, front screen. Also, we'll have a look at the Core config manager, the config database. Where is your core config manager? And if I look at the list of hosts, I will see the new host, which is the API host we just added. It already has put a basic check command, which is the ping command. And the arguments here for the variables are one which are default, which are using from the backend scripts. So you will see some of the settings already being done through the scripts. Okay. Let's come back home. So part one, we just added a host using the script without having to log into XI. Second step we'll show is how to add a service. In this case, we're going to add a service for checking the slash boot space. This one is actually a, a Linux server. So that's why we're going to use a slash boot. So I'm specifying the name of the host, which we entered earlier, the API host one. And then I'm going to specify the name for that service check, slash boot. So it gives me a success message. Uh, if I look into okay, Nike's XI, it will show the host name, but I need to also drill down. So I'm going to look inside this host. And then I will look inside the services. So now there is a host, a slash boot service, which is already added. Okay. It says service check is pending because we just added the service and it takes uh, a couple of minutes to run that particular check. What I'm going to do is force it to do an immediate check. So I'm doing an immediate check. Give me some results. So let me go back. So now you see the boot space is okay and it is giving me percent use is 7%. So this is what is happening in the front end, but also let me look into what is happening in the config manager. So when you look at the config manager, and look at uh, services. So I'm going to search for API host, and here it is showing me this particular service. This one is the boot we just added. So automatically it is picking the command which was used, it is picking the uh, SNMP password, it's also picking the values for warning and critical thresholds without having to enter it manually. It has information about all the check intervals, alert settings and so on. So this was all completely done automatically using the script without having to log into XI at all. So now we are going to go back to the script, we are going to uh, remove this service host service check we just added so i'm going to remove the slash boot service check through a script so specify the name of the host and the service enter so it says success now let's see what happens in the excel tool i need to do an f5 refresh so if i look at the api Post, which was our device. So this is the 
just the basic service check is available for the pin, which is the host availability, but there is no extra services at all because we just removed this service. Okay, now let's look at what happened in the CCM config manager. This is the config manager and the services. If I check by, there is no service check which is in the name of API host, so it has been removed. Okay. The last step is to kind of remove the device itself. So I'm going to remove the host to the command line. So let's type uh, the command for removing the host and give the name of the host. Enter. So it says success, you have removed. Let's come back and see what happens here. If I go to the host detail page and do a refresh, you can see that our API host one name has been removed. And also let's go back to the config manager, core config, and look at list of hosts. There's no list of hosts which is called API host one. So this completes the demo. What we showed was how to add a host, how to add a service, and then how to remove a service and remove a host using scripts without having to log into MicroSecSide. Thank you.